I was really excited to be a part of this last book just because I think for me it's the it's the book that gives the entire series its meaning. I think, you know, to be able to sort of wrap up these stories and um, help sort of sell these, idea, these ideas and themes um, cinematically was really, really exciting for me. Katniss has ended up in 13, and it's a district that she didn't know existed. Um, but what we find out is that 13 was a district that was bombed 75 years earlier in the dark days, um, the, the, the war that actually started the Hunger Games, the reason for the Hunger Games. Um, and the survivors, uh, you know, moved underground into old graphite mines and nuclear silos and nuclear facilities and created the civilization. So you now have, you know, about eight or 10,000 people that live underground, uh, they're ruled by President Coyne, and it's a very uniform, um, orderly military society. People are trained to be soldiers from a very early age, and they're sort of all, you know, trained and kind of waiting for a rebellion like this to sort of be able to get back and, and take over the capital. Julianne approached us uh, because she was really interested in the stories and really interested in coin um, and she's just such a fantastic actress I mean she could do anything and so I was you know just jumped at the chance to, to work with her and for her to play coin and so she and I actually sat down and there's some development that we had to do for coin because there's very little of coin in the book um, really all we know of coin from the book is just kind of Katniss's perception of her and so here in the movie we have some more additional scenes with her um, so there was a lot that we could, you know, develop with her, and so Julianne actually helped with that, which was fun. We've been talking to Lord about music for the movie, uh, and um, she, I was really interested in her doing a song for the end of, uh, of the film, and she actually came out to set in Berlin. It just so happened that we were shooting um, some sequences in Berlin, and she was on tour, and she was in Berlin at the same time, and funny enough, she was actually performing right across the street from where we were shooting, so she could just walk across the street to our set. Uh, so she came and uh, hung out and you know met Jen, and we talked for a little bit. Um, but she really just connects to the ideas in the movies and connects to the stories and the themes. Um, and she and I had a long talk about um, Mockingjay 1 and how the movie was going to end and what the tone and the emotion of the ending was going to be. Um, and I talked to her a lot about the sort of the, the sound that I imagined uh, for the end of the movie and she had some great references and so she created a really beautiful song for the end of the movie uh, that I think just is, is phenomenal. She did an amazing job.